hey welcome everybody welcome back to the course uh, and from this lecture we are starting working or on the admin panel of this whole project so you can see this is the website for this project and I had uh, shown you uh, uh, the uh, my account I mean the customer account we work uh, on that as well all of the sections and now we need to work on the admin panel so you can see this is the main folder e-commerce main root folder for or this project you can see there are many pages we have created PHP pages there are many folders inside that we have a customer folder where we have also pages relevant uh, related to the customer account and there are folders as well functions images include style GTC and similarly like that we have admin underscore area folder which is for administrator of this whole project so you can ju just double, double click that there we have uh, images folder includes folder product underscore images styles and also insert underscore product page through which we inserted many products and displayed over here so that's it inside the images folder I have just two images I can show you just uh, we will use them as a background images I have just you uh, created them in the in Photoshop so this is an image welcome to admin area and this is an image for header manage your content admin panel etc so this these two images we will use inside the I mean this is JPG image and another one is GIF so we will use them while creating the layout for the admin admin panel and these are the products uh, images which are already inserted into this website through the insertion form and now we will be directly inserting products using our admin panel and inside the styles folder I will create a style for this project we will create a style for this admin panel basically so let's start here is the notepad plus plus we'll simply create a page first of all we'll save it using control s and we'll say save this page inside the admin underscore area folder and we will name it index.php so this will be the main page the default page for admin panel that's it now <coughs> very simply uh, we'll start with html5 doc type and uh, after that we'll just start html then header sorry head title of the page this is admin panel head close body start body close and HTML close so basically this is the very very basic default structure for HTML now the first thing uh, one more thing is to create another file which will be CSS control s to save and we will save it inside the styles folder we will name it style.css this will be just for the admin, admin panel just save it now we will open uh, one more page which we had actually inside the e-commerce folder style we will just copy some style from this uh, existing style sheet I mean just the default this default reset CSS basically code that I have copied and I will paste that or here just so it will actually reset the browser styles so then we can apply our own style we'll just first of all say uh, I mean we'll say body body uh, color will be background color will be something like uh, I mean background with sky blue that's it now after the sky blue we'll create a container we'll uh, create us I mean a class with dot sign its name will be mm, con uh, main main underscore wrapper that's it we'll give it something like uh, with thousand pixel height auto and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, 
margin will be also auto so it will be centered align that's it now the next thing is to create a uh, header for this we'll create a id with the header and that will have some styles like uh, some properties like width will be 1000 pixel and height will be something like 120 pixel and background color will be white and we will add a border over here border underscore uh, border dash bottom bottom border will be 5 pixels and grow grows as a style and it will be orange color border that's it control s to save now we can just check out and uh, sorry background will be a picture URL which is inside the images folder and its name is what is this name let's go to the images folder and check out this bg underscore bg dash header is its name and it is jpg image this images uh, backslash bg dash header dot jpg that's it Control S to save. Now we will just access this admin panel just after the backslash of e-commerce. We will just write simply admin underscore area and we'll click it. You can see there is written K, but there is no style because because there is no style because we have actually not included this style sheet into this main HTML document. We first need to before the head the closing head tag we need to uh, attach that style sheet to this document so then it can apply over here and we will use link and rel is equal to style sheet relation is style sheet and a harap hypertext references style styles and then style CSS and media will be all I need to actually check out what is the name of the folder styles yes that's okay that's fine so control s to save now simply uh, we'll need to add a, a div tag which class will be we have already defined this class or there main underscore a wrapper and we'll close this here and inside this we will add another div tag so id will be is equal to header and header close that's it actually this one I mean this div which has a class main repair will hold all the layout till here and inside that we can put anything so the first thing is the header which we have created already uh, an id for it with the hash sign and we have given some css properties so now we'll go and refresh the page and you can see the background color as well as the border here the background color is for body tag we already uh, said here background will be sky blue but the images are not coming I don't know why we need to look look at here bg header URL background URL so we can say background image okay control is to save background image URL is this one for the image press let me check yes it's coming bg header and the image is obviously jpg image jpg bg dot header we'll put single commas so now we can once again check fresh that's actually not coming oh sorry this folder is basically outside the directory I mean the styles folder because we have this style sheet file inside 
this this folder styles folder and that is outside this directory uh, the images are not inside the styles uh, I mean folder so we need to actually say we need to actually a double dots and backslash that's mean it is outside the directory now it will work fine refresh and you can see manage your content admin panel and that in this now we can add I uh, mean two more uh, div tags one will be having an ID right uh, this is right sorry nothing right and we will say id is equal to left manage content we will write a link uh, sorry a text and we need to create those ids both of the ids for example header sorry right let some properties CSS properties for example its width will be 795 pixels height will be equal to 600 for now we can then make it I mean we can make it uh, auto later on but now it will be that background uh, image will be URL double uh, dot and backslash because the folder is outside this directory and the name of that is let me check bg dash body bg dash body dot gif that's it and it's float will be float will be uh, left this is basically left side now we are again going to create right side where we will simply say we need a property of width should be 200 pixel and we'll say height will be 600 pixel float will be right and background we'll add background later and we'll add a border border 5 pixel grow grow style and orange color that's it now just we have already added these IDs to these areas so control S to save and go here refresh the page you can see sorry this is uh, we need to this or add this border only to one side not all the sides border uh, left we need to specify which uh, to which side we need this border so I have saved again refresh the page and you can see this is your admin area is the header and this uh, we can add some kind of color this kind of color to this area so for that we will simply open Photoshop to get this color code I mean this is a color so we need it's uh, exactly this color so it will look better I mean or this area straight go to C go to Zem I mean e-commerce admin area put this image and we we'll check out just what is its color code its color code is this I'll just copy this color code and we'll paste it here and the background background will be hash sign and then that color code control s to save now come here refresh the page and you can see that is the same 
or we also can simply add uh, this text will be to the right one I mean manage content control s to save you press the page and you can see manage content text is here so that's it we have simply created the layout for administrator panel and we will add all the links over here uh, what we need to actually manage over here I mean the products the orders the categories and other things what we did we simply did, uh, created this HTML uh, page for it and inside that we have simply added four I think total four uh, div tags division tags and we have styled it up using CSS with very simple properties CSS, CSS3 properties you can see now that's okay in next lecture we will simply add uh, important links to this area so we can click and then can edit the content over here or manage the content over here stay tuned till next tutorial